The top players in the NBA are frequently the ones that secure some of the most lucrative endorsement deals in the business. While some players develop their resumes throughout the course of their careers, others are lucky to have such deals before even stepping foot on the court. From LeBron James to Kevin Durant, some of the best players in the game today started off with enormous endorsement deals. So today we are going to show you some of the highest earning rookies in NBA's history. Let's get started. Tracy McGrady, 1997 Tracy McGrady entered the league with a lot of buzz around him. His arrival came at a time when Adidas was attempting to overtake Nike in the basketball footwear market. With his good buddy, Kobe Bryant, signing with Adidas the year before, McGrady understood that the company was depending on the young guns to be the face of what they were attempting to build. McGrady, like Kobe Bryant, was among the athletes from the 1990s who entered the NBA straight from high school, which was an outstanding achievement in and of itself. It should come as no surprise that the dynamic talent selected Adidas over the other companies that courted him. McGrady couldn't believe that he was already a millionaire at such a young age after earning a $12 million contract with Adidas while still in high school. What's most interesting about this sneaker contract is that Adidas didn't just pay T-Mac. As part of the contract, the company agreed to pay his high school coach $150,000 every year for the next six years. Carmelo Anthony 2003 Carmelo Anthony partnered with Jordan Brand before the NBA draft as a sure top three choice out of Syracuse. After Michael Jordan retired that year, he became the brand's new young face. He inked a six-year, $21 million contract with Jordan Brand, in addition to a $15 million contract with the Denver Nuggets. This makes Melo one of the highest paid rookies ever. Melo made an immediate impression on the squad as a rookie, contributing significantly to the franchise's dramatic turnaround. Melo helped the Denver Nuggets end the 2003-2004 season with a 43-39 record, making the playoffs as the 8th seed. After an excellent rookie season, his place in the franchise was cemented. The Ford also proved to be an excellent option for Jordan Brand, earning even more attention as his career proceeded. In 2012, his Jordan Melo M9 placed third in US retail sales, earning the brand $40 million. Since then, the Jordan Carmelo line has produced 13 shoes, making it one of the NBA players' longest-running sneaker lines. John Wall 2010 John Wall rose from an obscure high school sophomore to the consensus first-round choice in the 2010 NBA Draft. Wall's rookie contract with the Wizards was his first in the NBA. A two-year, $10.7 million contract paid John more than $5 million in his first season. He became the face of Reebok's Zigtech cushioning, which is often found in the company's running shoes. Reebok signed him to a five-year contract for $25 million. Even the John Wall dance couldn't restore the brand's sales, since the shoes were just not designed for basketball. Wall's feet were apparently so painful that he quit wearing his trademark shoes. The guard then left Reebok shortly after the introduction of his third signature sneaker in 2013 to join Reebok's parent company, Adidas. Despite reports that Wall's Reebok and Adidas trademark sneakers underperformed at retail, Adidas nonetheless offered him an eight-year, $66 million contract extension, which the Washington Guard declined. However, after two seasons as a free agent, John Wall returned to Adidas in 2018. Vince Carter, 1998 The man they used to call half-man, half-amazing retired from the NBA after a stellar playing career in which he earned over $172 million in NBA contracts. Puma was on board with the Vince Carter hype long before the athletic forward played in his first NBA game. Carter's rookie contract with the Toronto Raptors was his first NBA contract. The deal was for three years and was for $6.45 million. Carter also inked a multi-million dollar contract with Puma in the hopes of becoming the brand's new face. Carter got a $25 million contract with the sports firm when he was a rookie with the Toronto Raptors, which is now worth more than $40 million. Carter did, however, renounce his contract with Puma before signing with Nike. According to rumors at the time, the NBA icon opted to discontinue his contract with Puma because he was unhappy with the fit and the shoes pained his feet. The NBA veteran also requested that Vinsanity sneakers be released as soon as possible. Allen Iverson 1996. Allen was regarded as one of the NBA's most aggressive scorers and competitors helping the Sixers to a Game 1 victory over the widely fancied Lakers in the 2001 NBA Finals. Throughout his NBA career, he made over $200 million, including millions from sponsorships outside of sportswear. In 1996, Iverson was selected first overall by the Philadelphia 76ers. 
The scoring guard was subsequently signed to a three-year, $8.9 million rookie deal. Allen inked a massive 10-year, $50 million contract with Reebok. Iverson's contract with Reebok, on the other hand, went much beyond the promised 10 years he signed as a rookie. Reebok struck a one-of-a-kind deal with the athletic guard in 2001, putting $32 million in a trust fund that he could only access until he was 55 years old. Until then, Al will have to make do with the Reebok's yearly $800,000 lifetime payout. That's not bad for a former superstar. Grant Hill, 1994 Hill entered the 1994 NBA draft after a great college career at Duke, where he won back-to-back -back championships in 1991 and 1992. He was picked third overall by the Pistons. The Ford then stunned everyone by opting for Fila, a brand that was previously unknown in the basketball world. His endorsement contract of $30 million over five years was the highest in the NBA for a rookie at that time. The co-rookie of the year instantly caught the industry by storm, selling 1.5 million pairs in only one season in 1994-1995. The following year, Fila stated that its market share in footwear had doubled, with Hill credited for promoting the fashion brand, which was previously recognized solely for high-end tennis shoes. Fila and Grant Hill, an all-star since his rookie year, renegotiated the contract in 1997, increasing it to seven years and $80 million. This was the league's second most valuable shoe agreement at the time, trailing Michael Jordan's Nike deal at roughly $20 million per year. Ben Simmons, 2016 Ben Simmons, the undisputed number one pick in the 2017 NBA draft, signed a five-year, $20 million contract with the team. The contract also included an additional $20 million in incentives, the most of which were apparently extremely feasible for the LSU product, such as All-Rookie Team Honors and Rookie of the Year. The other requirements, such as being named All-NBA and earning MVP, were far tougher. However, the agreement was so profitable that bonuses totaled more than $20 million. This should come as no surprise, given that the 6'10 point guard is a generational talent who has won Rookie of the Year and has been named an All-Star. He had numerous other sponsorships before playing his first NBA game, including Foot Locker, Beats by Dre, and Upper Deck, and Nike was eager to bring the budding star on board. Ben Simmons has earned an estimated $90 million in contracts since joining the NBA in 2016. The Sixers signed Simmons to a five-year, $170 million maximum rookie contract deal in the summer of 2019, which began in the 2020-2021 season. Kevin Durant, 2007 Durant declared for the 2007 NBA draft for an outstanding freshman season as a Texas Longhorn and was picked second overall. Prior to joining Nike, the seven-foot shooter, yep, he admitted he was seven-foot with shoes, turned down other lucrative offers, including a $70 million agreement with a $12 million signing bonus from Adidas. However, Durant eventually signed with Nike for seven years, $60 million, with a $10 million signing bonus, a brand he has worn since the eighth grade. This contract made him one of the highest paid rookies in history. After his contract with the Swoosh expired in 2014, the All-Star received an unusually generous offer from Under Armour, who tried to lure him away from Nike. Nike, though, matched the offer, and the Ford ultimately elected to remain with the company. He agreed to a 10-year contract extension until 2024 for up to $300 million, with a $50 million retirement plan. With him now playing in Brooklyn, the possibility of the KD line and other endorsements has increased significantly. Zion Williamson, 2019 while there are conflicting stories about Williamson's footwear agreement, with some stating it's a four-year deal and others alleging it's a seven-year deal, the Duke star nonetheless signed one of the most expensive rookie shoe deals in NBA history with Jordan Brand for five years and $75 million. Even before playing his first game, the high flyer will be earning nearly double his annual pay as an NBA player, and it's astonishing to know that he'd left a lot of money on the table with his contract. First. Zion inked the footwear agreement following the NBA lottery, informing sponsors that he would be joining a small market team in New Orleans. He might have won considerably more than $75 million if he had signed before the lottery, when the odds were stacked in favor of the New York Knicks. Secondly, Zion had other offers from other businesses that were far higher than the one he had accepted. LeBron James 2003 There is really no surprise here. Back then, only a high school kid from Akron, Ohio, and now the king of NBA, still holds the record for the highest rookie endorsement deal in NBA history. 
earning over $100 million before he was even drafted by the NBA. In 2003, Nike signed him to a 7-year, $87 million contract with a $10 million signing bonus. James's first contract with his hometown team, the Cleveland Cavaliers, began in 2003, when he was picked first overall for $18.8 million in the NBA draft out of high school. Since then, LeBron has been named MVP four times, an all-star every year since 2005, has appeared in nine finals, won four rings and four finals MVPs, and has garnered several more honors that only a generational talent like him has received. With the king aging like fine wine, Mikey has granted him a billion-dollar lifetime sponsorship agreement. And as of today, LeBron James is the only active NBA player to earn $1 billion before retiring.